Uh, yes, thank you very much, Dave. Uh, we're chit-chatting here. We will, of course, recognize Paul Gross. You've seen him on TV and in movies, but he's also a director, writer, and storyteller. The latest film is called Hyena Road, and it screened at the Calgary International Film Festival last night. We welcome Homegrown Hero. We're going to call you Homegrown because you are from Calgary. I am Homegrown. And mm. also Ross of Sutherland, who also stars in the movie. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Uh, how was last night? It was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was really... Well, Calgary's so enthusiastic. It's so great to come here, and I think the film played well, and it seemed, people seemed to like it. It was really, yeah, it was a, it was a great It was reception. a very warm reception, yeah. yeah. And we had a screening um, a couple of nights ago in Winnipeg, okay. and we played for uh, the military, and it was, it was, it was very moving to mm. see these men in uniform um, taken by the work that we'd done and, and felt well represented, and no, it was, uh, it's been good. That yeah. truly is the audience that... You yeah, if, if we if, if we manage to uh, to make them proud, if proud is the word, um, then um, then we've done what we set out to do, which is uh, shed a light on on their on their lives and and their sacrifice. And, and so, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, partly filmed in Manitoba, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, and you filmed Passchendaele here. Uh, yeah. Passchendaele in Calgary. Now, I, I mean. Would you call this a series? How did, why did you feel compelled to tell another story about the Canadian military? Passchendaele in and of itself was such an accomplishment. And then you take another one on. Yeah, and th this is after swearing up and down that I would never do another war film because it's just so unbelievably complicated and difficult to finance. But I'd gone to Afghanistan as part of a group to visit troops mm -hmm. and was just completely mesmerized by the... I've never... I've been in a lot of weird places but never in an active war zone. And that place was was weird and crazy and not even remotely like anything I'd been led to expect by either governments or the media. So I thought, well, I should go back and photograph this. Yeah, so I took a camera team. So a lot of the footage in the film comes from Afghanistan and it's mixed in with stuff we did here and stuff, or in Winnipeg, I should say, and stuff we did in, uh, in southern Jordan. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, it is very interesting and you mentioned the stories that you took from soldiers in 2010. How much of those stories actually made it into the script? No, almost all of them in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So there's very little in the film that I just invented. Most of it comes from stories that I was told. People I met, all of the characters are based either on guys I met or amalgams of them, including the Afghan characters. And all I did really is kind of organize it into a coherent narrative. Right. All you did. <laughs> yeah, that's there's a, a well, lot I had to, to it, I had to type it out. All right, all right. And for yourself, what was the training like for you? Did you go into it uh, having certain judgments about how it would be? Um, yeah, I had. Um, I got into. Um, I signed on pretty late in the process. Uh, we. Uh, I had about three weeks before we went to camera. Um, I packed my bags and went over to Shiloh, and I was surrounded by soldiers who um, who welcomed me. Um, you know, an actor whose job was to just make believe. It must have been quite, quite a lot for them to just uh, to welcome a film crew. And uh, but they knew that we were. Our intention was to just portray them as realistically as we could. And so, um, I mean, I took advantage of those three weeks, and and then for the rest of the shooting, obviously, we were surrounded by advisors. But. Um, yeah, but it was brutal training. They were they were almost totally physical, almost beaten to death. Yeah. And really? weapon training, and and also just uh, just the banter, um, just the language, getting those words in your mouth. I mean, it, it is uh, Christine, who's um, who plays my love interest in the film, was comparing it to Shakespeare. You know that mm. um, that would make that would make you Shakespeare. I'm kind of like Shakespeare. Basically, yeah. <laughs> basically uh, Shakespeare. But, uh, but yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot involved, um, obviously, in, in making it seem real. Uh, these, uh, these soldiers have years and years and years of training, um, and um, I only had a very limited amount of time to try and make it real, but, um, but that's our job as actors, is to try and just absorb other people's lives and, mm -hmm. and, and make it your own. And, uh, it was a real privilege to be uh, on a ride with this captain here. No kidding. Yeah. And uh, the ride began in Toronto when you screened the movie. We have some footage of uh, who you brought to the screening, who is your father. What, did that change the viewing experience for you at all, having your dad watch, watch the movie with you? Yeah, I'm happy you don't have footage of what happens next because uh, 
I actually, apparently, I swore on national TV because. Um, <laughs> I heard about that. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm not going to do it again, but somebody... We're live. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, I've, I've, I've learned my lesson. But um, somebody asked me, uh, how does it feel, you know, your, your father's here, you, you've never seen the film before, and, and this is the world premiere, how do you feel? And, and my reaction, ah, How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel? <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a lot. But I'm um, I'm a proud Sutherland. I'm. Uh, if it weren't for my father, um, I wouldn't have been an actor. I don't think. Um, my intention was always to be an artist, and that again, many thanks to my parents. I, I grew up in a, an environment where we were always encouraged to to be creative and to express ourselves and find find truth and. Um, and these words that were given and these pens and all that business and yeah acting came on pretty late my father my father encouraged me after i did a short film at princeton where i was studying philosophy and my intention was to be a writer and a singer and and uh, i was doing a short film and my lead actor was a no-show on the first day of shooting and so i had to cast myself yeah. and, and my dad told me that's what i should do for a living and here we are. Here we are here now. I am, yeah. Here we are now. Uh, not only the physical aspect, but the human elements of the movie uh, truly do sh shine through. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We could talk for days about it, but do go see the movie. Yeah, please, Road. please do. It and opens wide release on October the yeah. 9th. Yeah. Yeah, quite the journey for you, too. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having uh, us. Quite the journey.